bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. The Lord is great and greatly to be praised in the city of our God, in the mountain of his holiness. Beautiful for every situation, this is our morning man of service. And we pray now that you're sharing and we pray now that you're tagging. Why don't you tag a neighbor? Why don't you tag a friend? Why don't you encourage somebody that even that you know is not got to church yet and they're on their way to church and let them know that we, we're here today and that they need to tune in because they're going to have an experience and an encounter with God like they've never seen. This is the Lord's doings and it is marvelous in our sight. I want to give you time enough to come on. Why don't you, why don't you do it right quick in the sanctuary and those that are online, come on. Let's connect some people. Let's get some people because this gospel must be preached. If this gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost and we don't want anyone lost. And early in the morning will I seek thee, O Lord, my soul longer for thee in a dry and a thirsty land. At this time, Bishop Joe Harrison is coming with our scripture and our prayer at this time. Come on, let's bless God in this place. Come on, put your hands together. The Bible tells us the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous availeth much. And God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think. Come on, let's pray in this place. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we come before you, humble God, saying thank you, Lord God for another day, God. Thank you for this is the day that you have made, God, and we shall be glad and rejoice in in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we pray this day, God, that you forgive us of our sins and wash us in your blood, Jesus, creating us a clean heart and renew your spirit on the inside of us, God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we bless your name in this place today, God, for the things that you are doing in our life, for you are great, God, worthy to be praised. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the very same God, you are worthy to be praised. And God, we pray this day, God, that you settle down in the midst of us, God. In the name of Jesus, God, have your way, God. Send your anointing, God, and destroy every yoke, God. In the name of Jesus, as you did in the days of Solomon, God. God, we pray that your Shekinah glory, God, fill this place, God, and that it minister to every heart, God, to every need in the place, God. For you know what we have need of, God, even before we know ourselves, God. And God, we pray this day, God, that you just move in a mighty way, God. Move from heart to heart, God, in this place, God. Fill us with your spirit, God. Have your way, God, in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we come against every assignment and every spirit that's not like you, God, that's sent out by the enemy, God. Oh, God, to hinder the ministry, God, to hinder the work of you, God, to hinder the building up of the kingdom, God. In the name of Jesus, God, we pray, God, in the name of Jesus, that you deliver, God, with a strong hand, God, that you heal, God, with a strong hand, God, in the name of Jesus, that you regulate our minds, God, in the name of Jesus, God, that you drive out depression, God, that you drive out oppression, God, in the name of Jesus, and heal where healing is needed, God, in the name of Jesus. Build us up what we need building up, God, and tear down what we need tearing down, God. For you are the part of God, and we are the clay, God. And God, we hear, God, not for you only to minister to us, God, for us to minister to you, God, in worship, God, and in praise, God. So God, let the words of our mouth, God, and the meditation of our heart, God, be acceptable in your sight, God. In the name of Jesus, let's bless God in this place. In Jesus' name, amen. The scripture is St. John, the 12th chapter, verses 12 through 14. The next day, a great multitude that had come to the feast, when they had heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem, took branches of palm trees and went out to meet him and cried out, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, the King of Israel. Then Jesus, when he had found a young donkey, sat on it as it was written. Praise team at this time. Can we clap our hands and give God praise? I said, can we clap our hands and give God praise? Can we open our mouth and just give God our best praise right now? Hallelujah! Yes, Lord. Tis so sweet to try in Jesus 
just to take him at his word just to rest upon his promise and just to know the same the long Jesus Jesus how I trust him how I prove him more and more oh, oh, oh Jesus Jesus pray just Jesus oh for grace to trust him more Jesus Jesus how I trust him how I prove him more and more oh, Jesus, pray, Jesus, oh, for grace to trust him more, oh, all kings and kingdoms, they're all gonna pass away, but there's something, anybody can know that, oh, about the name Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. There's something about that name. Can I get a witness in him? Master, Savior, Jesus. It's just like a fragrance after the rain. Oh, Jesus, 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 let all heaven and earth proclaim. I said, kings and kingdoms, they're all gonna pass away. But can you just put it in the atmosphere? But there's something, but there's something. When I call on the name, there is something. Things gotta turn around. There is something. about the name yes oh no can I kiss my lord for your mouth and
So he didn't say not one word. Uh, he sacrificed and didn't even kick against the sacrifice. He took it for you and me. And that's why I got to give him glory. Now some of y'all can sit there and look all you want to. Because I, when I think about what the Lord went through for me. And when I should have been on the cross. It was you and me that should have suffered, bled, and died. But he thought of us enough. That he said, look at here, I'll take their place. And I'm going to cut down. And I'm going to suffer on their behalf. I'm going to get nailed on their behalf. I'm going to get whipped with nine stripes. And I'm going to rip the strays. And I'm going to die on their behalf. Can somebody just shout glory? You can ready move. Lord. Put it in the other way. Mm. Yes, Lord.
That's false. That's false. This is personal, hallelujah. I need everybody, everybody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. My grandma and I used what a friend we have in Jesus. Mm, not just some part of it, but all our sins and griefs to bear. Oh, 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 what a privilege it is to carry anything that you go through, you can carry it. Every, everything to yes, Lord, you can carry it to the Lord. In prayer, can I get everybody in here to open your mouth and shout hallelujah? Hallelujah. He was the other glory. call you our king, we call you our deliverer, we call you our strong tower, we call you our shield and our buckler, you're an awesome God, you're an infinite God, you're a powerful God, you're the creator, you're the preserver, you're the sustainer, God you're everything to us and we give you glory, we give you honor. We give you praise. Worthy are you, God. You're so worthy. You're so awesome. You're so marvelous. You're so powerful. You're creative. God, we give you glory. We give you honor. Oh, wretched man that we are, who shall deliver us. God, we give you glory, nobody but you. God, we praise you today. God, we exalt you today. God, we praise you today. You're a wonder. You're a wonder, wonder. You are still a wonder. You're 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 a wonder. You are. You're a wonder today. And we give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. We bow in your presence. Oh, God, and we give you praise. Oh, we thank you. You're a redeemer. Thank you. You're a soul savior. You're a baptizer. You're a mind regulator. You're a heart fixer. You are the lifter of our heads. And we give you glory. Come on all over this house. Come on, everybody. Come on and worship him. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. And God, we give you praise. Can we all worship him together? Can we all worship him together? Can we all worship him together? He's an awesome God. He's an incredible God. He's a marvelous God. He's a powerful God. He's a healer today. He's a deliverer today. He's a soul savior. Oh, he's wonderful. He's wonderful today. And hallelujah, hallelujah. We give you the highest praise. We give you the highest praise. For you alone are worthy. For you alone are worthy. You are the creator. You are the sustainer. You are our refuge. You are our strength. You are our strong tower. You're wonderful today, God. And we give you glory. And we give you honor. And we give you praise. I'm just looking for a few more of y'all. 
to worship him. He's a spirit. He's a spirit. And he said, they that worship me must worship me in spirit and in truth. Oh, wretched man that I am. Oh, God, you delivered me. You set me free. I'm not perfect, but I thank you for another day. I thank you for covering me. I thank you for shielding me. I thank you for being my God, being my Savior, being my Redeemer. We give you glory. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. You are wonder, wonder. You are a wonder. You are wonder, wonder. You are wonder, wonder working God. You are wonder working God. You are wonder working God. Oh, I'm awake right here, y'all. You are wonder working God. You are wonder working God. You are wonder. You are wonder. Nobody works wonders like you. Nobody heals like you. Nobody delivers like you. Nobody sets free like you. You are an awesome God. You are mighty God. And we give you glory. We give you glory. We give you glory. We give you glory. Oh God, we love you. We love you today. My soul love you. My soul magnify you. My soul lift you up. My soul give you praise. You are worthy, God. You are worthy. If it had not been for you who was on my side, where would I be, God? Where would I be, God? Where would I be? Where would I be, God? Where would I be? Thank you today. You've been a provider. You've been a provider. You've been a provider. Oh, you've been a provider. You've been an awesome God. You've been a wonderful God. You've been a mighty God. You're awesome God. And we give you glory. Come on all over this place. Come on and give him praise. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He is 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 worthy. He's a great God. And great let to be prayed. Come on, everybody, clap your hands. Because every time you clap your hands, you let the devil know I got the victory. When you clap your hands, you let the devil know I still got the victory. I may have been through something. I may have had some trials. I may have had some tests. But I'm clapping my hands because I got the victory. Tell your neighbor right quick, clap your hands. Clap your hands, clap your hands. Clap your hands is a sign of victory. It's a sign of victory. It's a sign of victory. It's a sign of victory. I'm clapping my hands. I'm putting the devil under my feet. I got the victory. 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 I'm gonna be good. God is so good. He's an awesome God. victory but you so if you want to sit there with your hands folded then that's your choice and I'm not going to buff you and I'm not going to fight you but the thing about it is that when we do it together let me tell you what it does it puts the devil on a run y'all ain't saying nothing when we clap our hands together it puts the devil on a run oh y'all hear me y'all hear me see some of us we're too much in ourselves y'all wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute we too much in ourselves, and we got to get out of ourselves. Somebody needs the victory. You don't know you clapping your hands today. Make call somebody that's about to be in an accident. Somebody that's about to fall and leave here. You're clapping your hands. Might cause them to get the victory. Somebody clap your hands and give him praise. Tell your neighbor we're going to do this together. It's a sign of victory.
to give him glory and honor and praise. For those of you that are watching us and you're watching us on you, YouTube, will you please let the others know that Facebook is down? So if you would share and let them know that we're on YouTube, if you all would do that to help us, if this gospel be hid, it is here to them that are lost. I'm giving you time to do that so we can help somebody that's lost, somebody that's in a world of sin, somebody that don't know Jesus. See, the devil is a liar. I'm telling you, he's a liar and a deceiver too. And God is not too. Telling your neighbor blessing you. So don't you give up. Don't you give up. Don't you give up. Tell your neighbor, don't you even think about giving up. Look at somebody behind you and tell them, say, don't you even think about giving up. We're a winner, we're a winner. We always win. We always win. Yeah. God is an awesome. Great thing to be praised. Oh, he's a great God. It's good to be in the house of the Lord. One more time. I owe God a praise. I owe him, I owe him, I owe God a praise. Been so good to me. Oh, he been good to me. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he done for me, my soul cried out. Hallelujah. I thank God for saving me. I heard the Lord specifically tell me yesterday to tell the church to dream again. He said, tell them I said, dream again. Tell them that I said, don't give up on their vision. It's coming to pass. It's coming to pass. It's coming to pass. Tell three people in your service. Dream again.
for his goodness and his mercy. And maybe some of you don't understand what's going on. I tell your neighbor, neighbor, my praise. Who would you ask? Y'all just say that with enough power. We'll tell your neighbor, neighbor, my praise poured you out. Sometimes you can be attacked from the enemy so much in your mind that all you got is a praise. Did y'all hear me? Sometimes you can be attacked in your mind. You can be attacked against your dream. Did y'all hear me? And somebody has to dance you out of it. Him today and church let's be let's be so mindful that we're in a spiritual warfare we're in a spiritual warfare did y'all hear me because the devil done told some of y'all that it ain't never come in the past the devil done told some of y'all sit down be quiet it ain't never come to pass you've been believing all this time and it still ain't come to pass why are you still believing huh Tell your neighbor, neighbor, the Lord said dream again. You got one weapon, and you about to use it. Y'all hear me? Your praise is your weapon. You about to use it. I'm going to say that, and I'm through with that. Thank you so much. I pray that you all are sharing, tagging someone, those of you that are on YouTube. Will you help us today spread the news that we're on YouTube only today because of Facebook? But thank you, God is so good. He's an awesome God. And I tell people all the time that if God says a thing, he's going to do it. He can't lie. It's, in, he, it's impossible for God to lie. So if he said a thing, he's going to do it. So you need to rest in the promises of Jesus that if he says a thing, he's going to do it. Thank you so much. I ask that all of you would keep Sister Tara Dobson in your prayers. Funeral services for her husband will be here on Thursday. Visitation will be at 1230. Funeral will be at 1 o'clock on Thursday. Thank you so much. I do want to remind the choir and all of you that sing. Okay, next Sunday. Please don't forget Resurrection Sunday. Rehearsal will be Thursday at 7 o'clock, okay? Please, y'all, please, members, all of y'all that used to sing in the choir, all of y'all that pack out for funerals, we sing in the choir. 
That's pack out for Resurrection Sunday. All right, thank you so much. I'm, I'm saying that because I want everybody to take part. Thank you so much. I want to ask everybody to please share. Let's come 7, 7 o'clock on Thursday to come and share so that on Sunday morning, we'll be ready on Sunday morning. Thank you so much. I do want to remind everybody that the first Sunday in April, we'll be at 2 o'clock, we'll be at Divine Faith holding this church. Thank you so much. There will be other announcements that will come on. So thank you so much. I do want to thank all of you. I do want to remind everybody that uh, our media ministry is working so hard to make things possible. So if you send an announcement and we don't make it, please be well assured we are we're trying to be time conscious. Okay, so I don't want anybody to take anything offensive. Okay, so I want to make sure everybody knows that today. Thank you so much. God is so good, and I want to thank God. I want to thank God for my creative minds that are doing such an awesome, awesome job. <laughs> Let me tell you one thing. A lot of people don't understand it, but uh, sometimes in one day, I can receive 20 to 25 texts from them. That means that somebody's working behind the scene to make ministry great. And so I want to thank God for them for the hard work and their labor. There are some folks that are working overtime. Y'all hear me? Some of y'all sleeping. I get up at 10 o'clock and I done dozed off to sleep at 9, get up at 10, and go on my way to bed. And there's Texas on there. That tells me that somebody's working. Everybody thinks it's just Sunday morning, but there are some people that work behind the scene to make ministry great. And I want to thank them from the bottom of their heart. You have to let people know you appreciate what they do. And so I want to thank them. Not only just a hand clap, sometimes you have to do something to let people know you appreciate what they do. So can we give our uh, creative minds a great hand and our media ministry a great hand today? I want to take our time to thank them. It's such an awesome, awesome job they're doing to make ministry great. Thank you so much, God. It's so good. At this time, we're going to ask our brother in the come that we might get our gifts. The Lord loves a cheer for giver. When you give, it shall be given unto you. Good measures pressed down. He yields Palm Sunday to those of you that don't know. And I'll be addressing that issue in my sermon today. I'll kind of answer some of y'all's questions while we praise in God today. So thank you. The Lord loves a cheer for giver. There are ways online in which you may give. I ask now that you take... Don't forget all members, don't forget we've asked everybody to give a $20 offering for Palm Sunday. Today is the last day, so I pray today that you will govern yourselves and give that $20 today. To those of you that are online that give so faithfully, thank you from the bottom of our heart. Thank you, so we will be ready. Thank you so much. I want to thank you because you all are people that are sowing into the kingdom of God. And I want to thank you. So everybody, don't forget, every member, please don't forget, let us all stand as we make ready to come to give unto the Lord. You're in the hands of our ushers at this time. Oh, 
on a refuge and our virtual audience. We're glad to have you join us for our morning manor services. Here are your weekly announcements. 2024 is a year of expansion, but we are trusting God to grow us in different areas of our lives. Welcome visitors. We're glad that you chose refuge as your place of worship today. If you are a first time guest, stop by the new beginners room at the end of service. This room is located to your far right as you exit. Thanks to our virtual audience for your continued support each week. If you have a prayer request or interested in becoming a member, scan the QR code. Happy birthday to everyone celebrating a birthday this month. May you have many more blessed and wonderful years ahead. Our weekly events are as follows. On Monday at 6 a.m. morning prayer, Tuesday at 7 p.m. Youth Bible Study, Wednesday at 12 p.m. Noonday Prayer, and at 7 p.m. Adult Bible Study, and Friday at 6 a.m. Morning Prayer. Welcome new members. We're glad that you joined us. We look forward to praying, praising, worshiping, and working together to continue kingdom building. Again, you are welcome. Last Sunday, we celebrated our newest members. Over the course of the past six weeks, new members have been engaged in sessions to learn about our ministry, visions, goals, and how our church functions as a whole. Each new member was provided certificates of completion along with gifts and light refreshments. Thanks to all of those volunteers who assisted with food preparation, decorating, gifts, serving, and planning a special occasion. Yesterday, the Women of Destiny engaged in a fellowship breakfast. It was a morning full of love, laughter, and fun. Elder Michelle Morrison shared a great word on how women should be their sister's keeper. Women, let's continue to be engaged and uplift one another as we continue to work to grow God's kingdom. Special shout out to the outreach volunteers for their support with the community feeding on yesterday. Together with the support of Lee's Tires and Wheels and Curly's Good Old Eating, we were able to be a blessing to the community by providing a free meal and sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you to those who volunteered their time to be a service and blessing to others. We'll have Children's Church every first, third, and fifth Sunday. Parents, this is for youth ages 5 through 15. Attention all Children's Church volunteers. Check the revised schedule in the lobby for your assignment and dates. Attention adults ages 55 and up. Please remain in the sanctuary at the end of service for a brief meeting. Attention attendees of the upcoming trip to Orlando, Florida. The deadline to make payments towards your park tickets is Sunday, April 14th. Minister Ophelia Griggs will be the guest speaker at the House of the Lord located in Fieldsburg Community for their sunrise service on Sunday, March 31st at 6 a.m. This Sunday is Resurrection Sunday. The service will begin at 10.30 a.m. Invite a family or friend to join you. Also, if you're interested in singing in the choir this fifth Sunday, there will be rehearsal this Thursday, March 28th at 7 p.m. There will be a male mentorship interest meeting for males ages 9 through 19 on Sunday, April 7th, immediately following services. You please be accompanied by an adult, which is a parent or guardian. Bishop Designate Preston will be the guest speaker at Divine Faith Holiness Church on first Sunday, April 7th at 2 p.m. We look forward to you worshiping with us. Make sure you pick up a monthly calendar of events and other information located in the lobby today after services. Enjoy the rest of this service and have a wonderful week ahead.
is something we can all testify to. That is something that we all can agree to. That every time we call him, he steps right in. That's something I'm saying. That, that's something that every one of us can agree to today. That every time I've called him, he stepped step right in and when he came in he came in on time he won't late he didn't delay remember when Lazarus died and they told him said Jesus whom you love it is dead and Jesus delayed his coming and he said but this is for the glory of God what about the times when you called him and he didn't delay to come? Y'all didn't get that. Y'all didn't get that. Every time I called him, he stepped right in. Everybody needs to know it today with a profound statement today that when I called him, he stepped right in. That's my testimony today, and that should be your testimony. That if you're in a situation where it seems like God is not stepping in, you just hold on just a little while longer. You just tie a new knot and just hang on in there. And I promise you, when he say enough is enough, he gon' He gonna step right in. You know, you know how, and I'm going with my message. You know how it is sometimes when you you ask a friend, you say, uh, uh, you know, I need a little something. Can can you kind of help me out? Huh? Huh? Then sometimes they'll say, yeah, yeah, I got, I, got, I got you, I got you. Well, I want to let you know that every time you call Jesus, he got you. Just tell your neighbor, he got you. And I'm going with my sermon. I ain't going to be long today, I promise y'all. It's not going to be long. But every time I call him, he steps right in. Out of the book of St. Luke, the 19th chapter, the 30 through the 31st verse, and out of St. Matthew's 21, verse 1 through 3, and then Matthew eleven twenty-eight, 28. St. Luke, the 19th chapter, verse 30 through 31. St. Matthew's 21, 1 through 3. And Matthew's eleven twenty-eight. 28. Our Father and our God, it's in the name of Jesus that we come. We come now to say thank you for your goodness and your mercy and your loving kindness and your tender mercy. Speak, Lord, thy servant, hear thy voice. Hide us behind the cross. Give us what to say and how to say it. And we'll give you glory and honor and praise. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Let's read the word of God. Say, Saying, go ye, go ye into, the village, into the village over against you. Over against you which, and which at your entry, at your entry you, you, shall find you shall find a coat tied. A, a coat tied where on, where on yet never a man sat. Yet never a man sat. Loose him. Loose him. And bring him hither. And bring him hither. And if any man asks you. And if any man asks you. Why do you loose him? Why are you loosen him? Thus shall you say. Thus shall you say. Unto him. Unto him. Because the Lord. Because the Lord. Have need of him. Have need of him. And when they drew nigh. Okay. And when they drew nigh. Unto Jerusalem. Unto Jerusalem. And were coming to Bethlehem. And were come to Bethlehem. Unto the Mount of Olives. Unto the Mount of Olives. Then sent Jesus. Then sent Jesus. Two disciples. Two of his disciples. Saying unto them. Saying unto them. Go into the village. Go into the village. Over against you. Over against you. And straightway. And straightway. You shall find a donkey. You shall find a donkey. Tied. Tied. And a coat with her. And a coat with him. Loose them. Loose them. And bring them unto me. And bring them unto me. And if any man. And if any man ought unto you, say ought unto you, ye shall say, ye shall say, the Lord, the Lord have, need of them. have need of him. And straightway, and straightway, he will send them. He will send them. Uh, Matthew eleven twenty eight. Come unto me. Come unto me. All ye. All ye that labor. That labor. And are heavy laden. And are heavy laden. And I. And I will give you rest. Will give you rest. 
As you take your seat, I want you to just look at a neighbor and tell your neighbor, neighbor, the Lord have need of you. You may say, you may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Tell another neighbor, the Lord has need of you. Whose hands is God going to use in this hour but our hands? Whose voice is God going to use in this hour but our voice? Who is God going to allow to be an example to the world but us? And the Lord has need of you. I know it is said that some of you, you've passed it down through your family. you passed it down through generations. You've told people that, you know, that, that person will never, ever be nothing. They'll never amount to anything. But I'm here to debate that with you today and tell you today that the Lord has need of you. Yeah, the Bible said, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. And a lot of us come to the Lord and we haven't learned of the Lord. And some of us say, well, the Lord don't have need of them because of something they've done in the past. But I want to tell you that even in your past, God has need of you. The reason some folks sit still in church, and I know everybody don't shout, but there is an expression that everybody gives, and you may not shout, you may not run, but there is an expression that the person beside you know that maybe you're not shouting, but they know deep down in your heart you are happy and rejoicing. And many of us have come to the place in our lives where we think God has not had need of us. And, but I want to tell you today that the Lord has need of us. He has need of you today. And I want to tell you that the harvest is plenteous, but the laborers are few. I'm going somewhere today. I, I, and we need to understand that when the Lord has need of you. Now, there are some people that have need of you. They only want you when you can do something for them. They only want to celebrate you when you're doing what they say do. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. As long as you're giving them, then you're their best friend. But stop giving them and they'll fi you'll find out they don't need you like they say they need you. I'm going somewhere today. And many, many people don't understand today that, 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 that people will disappoint you and that people will let you down. And sometimes God has to let some of us let people down simply for the reason and the purpose is because we're looking at them as a God and not God. Huh? And many times in life, God will sometimes allow people to, to, to uh, you know, the Bible said, let me go here. The Bible said them ho same people that cried Hosanna was them same people that cried crucify him. I want to tell you today that some people that are calling you great now, if you don't watch them, they'll stab you in the back. Yeah, but I want to tell somebody the Lord got need of you. And if you keep your focus on the Lord, everything going to be all right. Now, it may not be all right with people, but it's going to be all right with the Lord. And when people really know your heart, catches y'all, even though you don't meet their qualifications, if they know your heart, they know that you, you didn't mean it that way. Y'all got that? It's like somebody tell you such and such a... Down, downtown, they're downtown, and in front of the city of Montville, turning up a, a little bottle. You, you said to yourself, now nah, I know good and well. They know better than that. I know good and well that's not them. Some tales we entertain that we should not entertain because we ought to know people better than that. I'm, I'm going somewhere. The Lord has need of you. And in our passage of Scripture here today, it talks about Palm Sunday. Palm Sunday meaning this is Holy Week. I don't know if any of you understand and know the significance of Holy Week, but this is a very sacred time for the body of Christ. Say that again. This is a very sacred time for the body of Christ. In other words, we never had man. First Adam let us down. First Adam, huh? Messed us up. And so Jesus had to come. The Father had to send Jesus to pay a penalty for our sins. 
Jesus here has worked miracle signs and wonders. And the people have seen him work miracle signs and wonders. And the disciples have seen Jesus work signs and wonders. And the Bible said that now they are approaching and they're coming. They're going and they're at, going toward Jerusalem. And Jesus now speaks to them. And the Lord said, the Lord speaks to two of his disciples. And said, the Lord has need of you. The Bible said that Jesus instructed them, said, now we're going to leave Bethany. And we're going to Jerusalem. And we're going to the place of uh, Mount Olive. We're, we're going to the place where Jesus is getting ready to pay a penalty for our sins. Anybody say it to this today? I believe that Jesus already knew y'all. He already knew that he was going to die for the sins of the world. Why, why you say that, preacher? Go to Zacharias and it tells you uh, it already fulfills the prophecy of what is to come to pass. The Bible said that Jesus looks at them and says to them, that God speaks to them and tells them, go get a donkey. Go get one. The Bible said that he tells them, go into the city, get a donkey, find one that no man have never ridden upon. Did y'all catch this? Some one, a one that no man have written upon. I want y'all to get good instructions. See, instructions is so important, y'all. So the Lord tells them there is a donkey there, and he's tied up. And I want y'all to know that he, he, he's one that has never been written on. And any of y'all that know when you ride a donkey or get on a donkey, you know, and nobody never rode it, y'all. He's got to be trained. Good God Almighty, y'all. But Jesus told him, uh, God told him, go to the city. Find the donkey that's tied. Go into the city and when you get there, find the donkey and it's going to be already tied up. See, I told y'all, God knows everything about you. You, you. you don't have to tell God a whole lot of stuff. You can tell him, but you don't have to tell him a whole lot of that stuff because he already knows about you. God already knows your future from your beginning. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That God already knows some of us going to mess up. And what he's going to do, he's going to take our mess and clean us up. Tell your neighbor, he'll take your mess and he'll clean you up. The Bible said that Jesus now on the way. And, and the Bible said that Jesus tells them, go into the city and find the donkey. Bring him hither. And he says to them, if anybody asks you. I want y'all to know that this has been preordained. I've already set this up. The Bible said that this donkey had never been rode upon. But it is something how that, that Jesus, uh, uh, when they bring, get the donkey, the Bible said that uh, he tells them that when y'all get the donkey, bring him hither. He said that anybody asks you why you're getting this donkey. Anybody asks you. Huh? If anybody asks you, okay, see, y'all, you got to be able to give folk an answer for what they say to you, y'all. You got to have a respond to people. I, I, just like if you fall down, you got to tell folk, uh, the just man falleth down, but he gets back up. And in fact, the just man falleth seven times, but he gets back up, y'all. And, and the Bible said, and then the Lord still have need of you. I'm going to ask one question today. How many of y'all have fallen at least seven times? Some of you need to throw your hands up at you and your feet too. Yeah. <laughs> and some of us using it as an excuse. But when you find out the goodness of God and how good God is, you don't want to keep on messing up. You don't want to keep on crucifying Christ afresh. Did y'all hear me? When we know better, we don't want to keep on crucifying him afresh. The Bible said that Jesus now is, is uh, uh, sitting there waiting on them. The Bible said when they get to the city and uh, the owner of the, the donkey, y'all hear me, the owner of the donkey. The Bible said uh, that he asked them, what are y'all doing with this donkey? He said to them, Jesus have need of him. In other words, the master have need of him. I'm going to tell you one thing, y'all. When you're doing what the Lord wants you to do, the Lord will speak for you. You won't have to speak for yourself. I, I told folk, I don't get upset because folk don't do things I want them to do. I, I just let God handle that part. 
God told me just a couple of days, he said, be quiet, you don't say nothing. He said, I got, I got this, I got this, Alan. I, I, got, I promise you, I got this, I, I got this. Some folk I got to deal with individually. Y'all, y'all ain't saying nothing. See, see, you can't fool a praying man. Did y'all hear me? I'm going to say that again. You can't fool a praying man. I'm going to say that one more time. You can't fool a praying man. And you can get over on some folk, but a praying person, you can't get over on. How did y'all hear me? When they got a relationship with God, God will tell them, shut your mouth, don't say nothing. I'm going to prove to them that I'm God. I'm going to prove to them that I'm in control. So the Lord said to me, just be quiet. The Bible said that Jesus, now they're bringing the donkey to Jesus. And on a donkey that never been rude. The Bible said that most of the time when they brought a donkey in, the Bible said that they had to train the donkey for somebody to ride the donkey. That the, tra- the donkey had to be trained, y'all. Don't y'all know there are some things God will do in your life. You don't have to have the qualifications for them. Y'all didn't catch that. There are some things God will give you. You won't have to have the qualifications for them. You won't have to have the credentials for them. But God said, I'm going to use you. That's why Jesus said, if I be lifted up from the earth... I draw all men unto me. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, you may not qualify for it, but God's going to give it to you. Tell your neighbor one more time, you may not qualify for it, but God's going to give it to you. This is the season. This is the season. Y'all catch you. This is the season. This is the season. Some of you battling with how, how I'm going to do this resume. How I'm going to fix this resume. I want to tell you, just write it down. And just put it before them and God. Y'all hear me? I don't have all the qualifications for it, but God's going to take care of it. So the Bible said that this donkey had never been rolled upon. The Bible said that when they get the donkey, the Bible said they took a coat and put on the donkey. Y'all hear me? And you know, most of the time you put something on a donkey or something, it's going to. Gonna jerk, gonna flinch, huh? Gonna jerk and twist. Y'all, y'all hear me? Some folks got horses now or donkeys now, and, and they they didn't train them until every time they get up on them, they, they have to be very careful. But when God has said something, when God has set something in motion, when God has set his approval on something, you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> so the Bible said it now. They're there, and they put the coat on. The donkey, the Bible said, and Jesus is standing there. The Bible said that then they tell Jesus, Jesus, get on the donkey. And when he gets on the donkey, because now Jesus is obeying the Lord's command, not man's command. I want to tell you today that it may look like uh, things are not going to work out, but you just ride out. The song said, ride out the storm. I want to tell somebody it ain't a storm as you think it is. The sun going to shine out to this one. Bible said it now. Jesus tells them, tells them now, uh, um, um, get on the donkey. And the Bible said that Jesus got on the donkey. Bible said that Jesus now tells them, uh, go toward Jerusalem. Head, head where you need to head. And the Bible said that when uh, they start seeing him on the Mount of Olives, y'all, y'all catch this, y'all. when they start seeing him coming, tell your neighbor, I see something coming for you. Oh, yeah, yeah, y'all gonna get it. The Bible said it now. The crowd has gathered. Now, Jesus tells two of his disciples, now they're there with Jesus. Now they're following the instructions that Jesus has given them. And as they follow his instructions, the Bible said that Jesus now gets on the donkey and begins to head into the city. And as he begins to head into the city, the Bible said that the people began to rejoice. Y'all, y'all, y'all gonna get it in a minute. I, I want to tell somebody that you need to begin to rejoice. You, you may not see it right now, but I want to tell you to rejoice. I was so glad we had a strong praise in here today because this day represents Holy Week. It represents sacrifice. It means that Jesus has paid a penalty. He's paying a penalty for our sin. I, I, the Bible said that Jesus uh, is now going to be crucified. And the Bible said that even though he's going to be crucified, uh, it wasn't a horrible week for him. Uh, what do you do when you know you're going to face the trial? I 
said, what do you do when you know you're going to face a trial? How do you handle your trials? The Bible said that Jesus got on the dock going toward the city. And as he goes toward the city, the Bible said that those that were around began to put palms in the street. They said to themselves, our king is coming. The question I got for the church today is, do you know he's coming? I, 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 I know he's coming back for a church without a spot or wrinkle. And I, I know, I know he's coming back for all of us one day. But I want to tell somebody the Lord is coming to see about you. Uh, but in order for him to come and see about you, the Bible said that they took coats uh, at, and they not only took coats, but they took palms. They began to cut down branches because now this was a sign of royalty. In other words, our king is coming. Y'all, y'all catch this now. In other words, they start rejoicing before he got where they were. Yeah, y'all catch this. They began to rejoice before he got where they were at. See, some of you are waiting for God to do it before you rejoice. But tell your neighbor, neighbor, you got to do it before he do it. You got to do it before he do it. In other words, now faith yields the substance of things hoped for. And it's the evidence of things not seen. I don't know how he gonna do it. But I just know he's going to do it. And I came today to tell the church that the Lord has need of you. And so the Bible, the Bible said that on their way into the city, the Bible said that the people made preparations for Jesus. And they said, our king is coming. I want to ask you the question today. Do you know he's coming to see about you? Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, neighbor, he's coming to see about you. Yes, he's coming to see about your situation. Yes, he's coming to see about your crisis. Tell your neighbor if you got a crisis, the Lord is coming to see about your crisis. But the Lord has need of you. The Bible said that after that, ye have suffered a while. I'll make you perfect. I'll strengthen you. I'll settle you. The Bible said that weeping may endure for the night, but joy is coming in the morning. But tell your neighbor, neighbor, you got to hang in here. So if you threw away the towel, grab the towel and take it back. I want to tell somebody because the Lord has need of you. In other words, God wants to do something in your life that people said would never happen, that people would never imagine would happen. So that's why the Lord needs you out of all the mistakes, out of all the failures you've had in life. I've come today to tell somebody that your latter end gonna be greater than your former. You just need to hang in here. Tell your neighbor the Lord has need of you. Maybe I don't need you. Maybe I don't want you. But the Lord has need of you. I want to tell you, you may not be perfect. And you may not cross every T and dot every I. But the Lord has need of you. He want to take your imperfections and make them perfect. But you got to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. I feel preaching, preaching on me today. The Bible said that they began to put out palm branches as Jesus was getting to come. In other words, what these palm branches represented here was an, was an act of praise unto God. In other words, the people were really doing an act of praise to God. They were saying, our king is coming. Our Emmanuel is coming, y'all. He hasn't went to the cross, but he's on his way 
to the cross but tell your neighbor he is he's coming that bad English but I gotta let the church know that he is coming that's why the Bible said rejoice and be glad and oh give thanks unto the Lord in this same passage of scripture the Bible said that he told the children the daughters of Zion did y'all catch that he told the children of Zion who is Zion y'all we are Zion he told the children the daughters of Zion to rejoice because their king is coming and if you look up that same scripture it tells you in Zacharias that it was already performed that it was already said that it was already prophesied that the king would come and that the daughters of Zion would rejoice y'all catch it that the daughters of Zion would rejoice tell your neighbor when God do this thing for you you gonna rejoice and I'm going to rejoice because if God spoke it he's gonna bring it to pass God is not a man that he should lie not the son of man that he should repent that if he said a thing he's going to do it I didn't have no idea that when I said the month of March that God was going to make it up to us but y'all you gotta understand this week we're coming up on it's called Holy Week it's called Holy Week y'all ain't getting it it was called Holy Week in other words God was going to send Jesus to come into the city and tell the people that our king is coming and I want to tell you today that we've got to rejoice because he's coming tell your neighbor he's coming to see about you the eyes of the Lord go to and fro in the earth I want to tell you today God sees what you're going through God sees what you've been through and tell your neighbor God's gonna make it up to me because the Lord has need of me eyes have not seen ears have not heard neither has it entered into the heart of man the thing the Lord got in store for them that love him tell your neighbor it's holy week God is going to see about you wait on the Lord I want to tell somebody wait on the Lord this is miracle week I want to tell somebody it's miracle week Brianna Hurston if you're watching today I want to tell you that it's miracle week our king is coming he's coming on a donkey he's coming high and lifted up and Jesus said if I be lifted up from the earth I'll draw all men unto me as Jesus was coming they were waving the palm branches they were laying them in the street saying our king is coming touch your neighbor and tell your neighbor our king is coming our king is coming Emmanuel Jehovah Jireh Jehovah Shalom Jehovah sick and new he's more that enough God is our refuge and strength a very present help in the time of trouble I'm so glad I'm so glad that if I wait on the Lord and be a good carriage he will strengthen down the heart tell your neighbor right quick our king is coming 
our king He is coming He's coming He's coming He's coming You've been through the storm You've been through the rain You've been through suffering You've been through so many trials So many people have let you down But our king is coming He's coming back for a church without a spot or wrinkle. But I want to be ready. I want to be ready. Grab your neighbor by the hand. Grab him by the hand and tell your neighbor, your king is coming. Wait on him. 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 Let's go. 
Come up on part of this church. I want you to get up and come now. If you're here, won't you come? Somebody clap your hands. Give God praise for what He's doing. That one want to come a part of this church. I want you to get up and come now.
part of this church. If you are a candidate for baptism, and you're going to be baptized today, please go to the, go to the best of you. If you are here today and you're going to be baptized, please go to the best of you immediately, okay? Thank you. If you're one of the candidates, if you're just standing the best of you. for baptism and you want to be baptized, please go to the best of you so we'll make sure we got we are ready to roll, okay? Thank you, Stephen, as pastor of this church. I want to welcome you to come in, work out your soul salvation with fear and with trembling. God bless you. We love you. Glad to have you be a part of this church. And we thank you. Thank you. Your king is coming. The king is coming. Perhaps there's one that is our special prayer. You're here and you desire special prayer. I want you to come. You're here today. You desire special prayer. Give you that opportunity to come. If you're here today, you desire special prayer. I want you to come. Michael, you you here? We have one online that's joining the church. Somebody clap your hands. Come on, clap your hands. Come on, clap your hands. Tina Moria has pastored this church. I want to welcome you to come in and work out your soul salvation with fear and tripping. God bless you. We love you, and we're glad to have you be a part of. Glad that you're watching today, and please leave us an address and a telephone number so we can get in contact with you. God is an awesome God. As pastor of this church, I want to welcome you to come in and work out your soul salvation. Somebody clap your hands and give God praise. Come on, clap your hands. Come on. God is an awesome God, a great God. Before we do prayer, I want you, the neighbor that you're standing beside, I want you to tell them right quick, neighbor, I want you to know. God can fix it, and he is fixing it. Don't you wear it, and don't you stress. God's on your side. He gonna fight your battle. Just hold on and hold out. Help is on the way. I'm gonna thank him for your help. Come on, somebody, and thank him. Come on, thank him. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we come before you humble again, God, saying thank you for this day, God. Lord, we thank you for your presence, God, that has filled this place, that has filled every heart, God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we are all standing in the need of prayer on today, God. And God, you know what each and every one of us have a need of, God. And God, we pray right now, according to your word, that you grant every, um, grant every need that's needed, God. In the name of Jesus, God, we say thank you for being an awesome God. God, some in need of this and some in need of that, God. 
but God, you know all things, God. And God, we pray right now, God, that you move in a mighty way, God, over your people, God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, they've come to the altar, God, God, because they believe, God, that you're able to supply every need according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. They'll come to the altar, God, to offer sacrifice unto you, God, knowing that, God, you're going to move on their behalf, God, in a mighty way, God, in the name of Jesus. And, Lord, we say thank you right now, God, for what you're going to do, Lord God. Lord, we say thank you for this miracle week, God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we say thank you right now, God, that you're showing up, God, even as we pray, God. Lord, we're here because we believe, God. You said everything is possible to them that believe, God. And, Lord, we say thank you right now, God, that you're going to do it, God, according to your word, God, that you said that you are able, God, to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask or think, God, according to the power that's working on the inside of us, God. And that power is belief, God. That power is faith, God. And, Lord, we're standing here in faith, God, knowing that you are able, God, to keep that what is committed unto you, God. So, Lord, move on the people's behalf, God. In the name of Jesus, deliver with a strong hand, God, like we know that you can, God. Heal, God. Deliver, God. God, you know all things, God. You an awesome, God. And we give you praise and we give you glory, God. In the name of Jesus, we count it done, God, because, God, nothing is impossible to you, God. There's nothing too hard for you. And you're beautiful in situations, God. And, God, every one of us have a situation, God, and that you're beautiful for. And we give you glory and we give you praise. As you return to your seat, just begin to bless God and thank God for what God is doing in your life. He's an awesome God. neighborhood for coming and worshiping with us today. I want to thank you so much. God is so awesome. Ministers, please don't forget, they will be in the New Beginners class, and if we've not got out our first-time guests, will y'all please be patient? Go to the nursery over on the other side, okay? So our first-time guests, please don't forget, if you're a first-time guest, let's celebrate our first-time guests, y'all. Come on, let's celebrate them. Come on, let's thank God for our First time guests for coming and sharing with us. Those that are uh, going to greet our first time guests, thank you so much for working so hard to make ministry great. And I want to thank them. I do want to take this opportunity to thank those that worked to make our celebration great last Sunday. I want to thank you. I could not do it with you all without y'all's help. Thank you from the bottom of our heart. God is so awesome. All of the teenagers that are supposed to go with them on the trip today, you know. Uh, 
Uh, don't forget to remain around and he'll give you instructions. Those that are in charge of feeding them will take care of them. Thank you so much. And y'all, it's so important that when we do things, that we, we do them the day that we're asking you to do in complete forms. When we ask you to, please, let's, let's do that to help make ministry great so we don't, those workers that are helping us, they don't, we don't stress them, okay? So thank you so much. God is so good. God is a great God. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, he's coming to see about you. Let us all stand our feet. God is so good. Thank you so much. We love you. Thank God. Don't forget Thursday night. Thursday night at 7 o'clock. Be quiet with us, okay? Now, members, please don't forget. Please thank you from the bottom of my heart. Next Sunday is Resurrection Sunday, so I need y'all to help us a whole lot. Can I say one thing before I go? Hope y'all got me off.